Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is TK with StarcraftTournament.com bringing you the first cast from Patch 1.2. Patch 1.2 did have those race balancing, and I uh, did implement that chat system. I was so excited for that chat system to come out, but once it did come out, I was a little disappointed. Um, <clears throat> the message limit kind of hinders me from talking too much, which might be a good thing for all of you, but uh, it feels like I'm back in kindergarten when I used to talk too much, and the kindergarten teacher used to put me on uh, in the corner as a timeout, but uh, you can't spam more than three messages in a very, very short amount of time, as it will put you, as it, it gives you a message saying like you talk, basically that I talk too much, and that they're going to shut me up for a while. But um, I write my sentences in basically three pieces, very annoying for a lot of people to uh, to read, but uh, just basically how I used to be, how, how, how I'm used to doing things. So I write one third of the sentence, hit enter, another uh, third of the sentence, hit enter, the last third of the sentence, hit enter, and then that's my complete sentence. So not being able to do that on the chat system, I do get put on timeout very, very frequently. It is slightly annoying. Let me bring up that production tab as I'm going on a little rant right here. Um, Patch 1.2 also has this cool little feature, BAM, uh, you can toggle off that time bar so you don't know how long that game lasts, of course it's been up for like 3 minutes so you know exactly how long this game lasts. So very very bad job by me, but very cool feature by Blizzard uh, to put that very cool job, uh, very cool from Blizzard to put that in there, so uh, big props to them <clears throat> as uh, you had to hide it with your uh, logo or something like that before, but now you can just put your logo right on top and it's not as uh, ugly looking. And patch 1.2, there's another thing, what was it? Oh, Masters. Very, very baller league. Basically, Masters League is the ballers of StarCraft 2. Uh, Starcraft 2. They are the very, very best players. Uh, and four of our players have made it into Masters already. Uh, Mr. Glorious as the Terran player. Shui and... I think there was another Zerg. No, no, Shui was the only Zerg uh, Master player. And then Killer Bunny and Beware making the Masters for Protoss. So very, very cool to have them playing in our tournament. I feel very, very honored. So uh, good job to all those play uh, players, and I'm sure more, more people, uh, more of our players are going to be making it into the uh, Masters League very, very soon, as they are very, very solid players in the tournament. Um, I'm going to get caught up on the turn uh, on the match here. This is a shield match between Shui and Blue Rain. Uh, Shui did wall off at the top of this ramp, uh, and Blue Rain did go 15 hatch, 14 pool. Very, very common. We see a bunker going down. I'm sorry about that. I, I missed so much of the game already, but they, very, very basic standard opening, except for this uh, double bunker at the top of this ramp. So he's going to put a lot of marine pressure onto, uh, onto Blue Rain at the very beginning. Blue Rain's Overlord did see that uh, bunker going up, so um sorry about that so he is gonna pop down two spine crawlers as he doesn't as this says this bunker is on the low ground so he won't be able to shoot up as a uh, blue rain zerg is just running past and maybe trying, trying to put a little a little bit of pressure on shui we don't know what's going to go on with that but the bunker doesn't have anything spotting up here so this uh spine crawler as long as it moves to about right here it's going to be able to take out that bunker no problem we do see the zerg is just running by and being, I think it just picked off one of the marines and might be able to pick off another marine right here. We don't know. Yes, it is going to pick off another marine. That's two kills. Another marine right here. That's three kills. Another marine right here. We don't know. It's, oh no! The supply depot is brought back up. So, Shui leaving that marine to die. Even that marine right here. That's spawning location. So, that's four marine kills right there. Maybe even getting a fifth right here. Shui doing a lot of micro. Oh, very good job keeping that. Uh, Marine alive. Very good job from Chewie. As uh, the spine crawler did uproot and move. I'm sorry I missed that, but uh, the bunker did go down. So um, I'm, I'm sure it didn't go down. I'm sure uh, Chewie was able to salvage it. But if he did lose that, that's 100 minerals. That's a very big investment this early in the game. Uh, Blue Rain's hatchery is up and running. We see Chewie building a command center and moving his wall. That's the cool thing about Shakura's Plateau is that it's on three different stages. The, the, the very top stage is where your main is at. Your middle stage is where your um, uh, natural is at. And the bottom stage right here is the common area where all the little kitties can uh, roam around and play and kill each other. So, uh, very good job knowing that, or not knowing, of course he knows it, but um, taking advantage of the fact that Terran buildings can lift off and rewall. So, taking off that, uh, taking off these two bunkers from, uh, barracks from up here and putting them down here. Very good job. Maybe even placing another beefy structure right here to create a very, very solid wall. As uh, Blue Rain is going Bailey's Nest, so 
we're gonna see a huge bean link and uh, zerg link thing probably as metabolic boost is almost up and running we do see the double gas so this can be enough gas for to make a buttload of uh bane links we don't see blue rain doing uh too much of the creep spread so um of course a general rule of thumb is just uh, get out another queen and just start spreading creep like crazy but um just using those two queens to inject larva, just vomit larva onto these, um, onto the hatcheries very, very uh, as frequently as you can to be able to get out as many larva as they can and to be able to produce as many zerglings as they can. So, um, yeah, so, uh, Blue Ring going a very, very, uh, aggressive build from the very very beginning. Uh, we do see Shui's uh, marines taking control of that watchtower, very good job. Uh, quick thing to note, very good placement of uh, overlords. As we see the uh, speed, speed link did kick in, the, the metabolic boost did kick in, and those zerglings were able to get a good surround on those marines, and that was a massacre. That poor little marine, that one, I think that was that one marine that got microed around, but he's keeping an eye, a watchful eye on that watchtower and sees the horror of his uh, team, or of his friends just getting slaughtered. As we do see uh, more barracks going on, Tech Lab and uh, or even a reactor, maybe even seeing more reactors going up, so we might see a very, very heavy marine play as he is walling off, making a very, very strong part of the wall. Uh, there is a buttload of bailings, so he only needs five bailings to take out this supply depot. Very good job reinforcing that with the bunker in the background, so even if he gets that supply depot he still has to bust through this but that's only 10 bu uh, 10 banelings to bust through this wall there's a buttload of banelings right here being able to bust through that supply depot and the barracks and killing off the uh uh, Marines just getting a good surround, even the Banelings getting in and uh, running up into the main, probably going to do a lot of SCV damage over there. The uh, SC, uh, the Zerglings being able to cut off the the SCV who just wanted to go home into their uh, main command center, but is cut off and just just uh, just uh annihilated by the Zerglings. Shu is forced to call the GG, and uh, he does want a rematch right here, but very good job from uh, Shu, or uh, Blue Rain running those banelings and being able to notice what part of the wall was weakest right here the supply depot and the bunker as these uh barracks take 13 uh banelings to bust and you notice that uh those bunker that bunker and the supply depot only took 10 to bust through both of those so very good job saving his uh, banelings so they can run in do a lot of damage on the marines and then a lot of damage on the scvs so very very good job sorry about that craigslist uh spam um, but a very good game from Blue Rain, being able to hold off that, not not really panicking about that bunker, and being able to do a very very aggressive push in the very beginning to um, to be able to catch Shui off guard and uh, not let his macro kick in. So a very good game from Blue Rain. Even that uh, overlord positioning is very very good to be able to spot that destructible rock. So very good game. Uh, if you like this caps cast subscribe to me or subscribe to us on youtube hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to play in our tournaments there is a link down below to our facebook page you can click on that and then there is an event page in there just click i'm attending on that and that's basically our form of registration for the tournament uh, if you didn't like the cast tell me what i did wrong tell me what you want to see in the future cast and then i'll try to work on that and i guess that is pretty much it thanks for watching this is tk signing out